Hello guys, I am Vinayak Rengen. I am a general surgeon and I am doing my MCH in Pediatric Surgery at SMS Jaipur. I am also an MRCS uh, uh, from Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. A lot of you guys have asked us this particular doubt. Should I take a 6 year DNB Super Speciality program? NEET PG 2022 just concluded your results have come and a lot of you guys might be tempted to take a 6 year DNB in uh, Pediatric Surgery, Plastic Surgery. Uh, cardiothoracic surgery because there's a lot of glamour associated with super specialities and you might think oh i just went through this horror of need period 2022 and you know after all this weight and after all this hangama but do i need to you know go through and do another need need assess again and again i have been training people for need assess for the past two three years on my platform search test and i can assure you that yes you will have to read a lot for need assess again the real question is should I take it or not? I am not going to dogmatically say don't take it, but I am going to say that take it after a lot of thought and after a lot of consideration. It is an issue which you should be discussing with your family, uh, with your friends, with people who matter to you. And also, you know, take a call based on the place where you want to So, when should you take a six year program? A six year program is a huge commitment, it's six years of your time. And if you get into a program which you don't like, a lot of people enter due to the glamour aspect associated with super speciality. Once they enter, they realize that, oh shit, man, I don't like cardiothoracic surgery. Or you might hear horror stories about job prospects after a particular speciality. You might hear the fact that, you know, some specialties don't make enough money as much as you wanted it to be. You might have thought, oh, I'm going to do three bypasses a day and, you know, charge two lakhs for each bypass, I'm going to earn six lakhs a day. And you might realize that, oh, reality is very different. So you might decide, oh, no, cardiothoracic surgery is not for me. A lot of people enter into a specialty which they don't know about, which they have not done enough research about and which they are not passionate about. So be really passionate about the speciality. You should be the kind of person who should be like, I can't think of doing anything other than plastic surgery. I can't think of doing anything other than uh, neurosurgery or pediatric surgery. If that's there, then you can think about a six-year program and that will be the place which matches your expectations. The second thing is you have an excellent family background. Your father is the topmost plastic surgeon in the, your town. Your mother is a great plastic surgeon again. Your father does burns and reconstruction. Your mother does a lot of aesthetic work. It doesn't matter where you do your 6 year DNP, you won't get enough hands on, no problem. You can do it at your home, you can do it in your hospital. If that's the case, then okay, it doesn't matter, you know. Finish it off, 6 year program, do wherever you want, take it in a place where you can chill. That is a luxury which most people in this country cannot afford. You might be one of the few lucky people who have a huge background and I wouldn't recommend this option for most people. So, you know, kind of forget option 2. Third thing is that you are very sure about the place you are going to be making. You know, just being passionate about the speciality is not enough. You have to know where you are going to do it. You might be really passionate about neurosurgery, but you might end up doing it in a hospital where you don't get any hands-on. You have finished six years of your neurosurgery program and you have not even done a single bar hole. That's really, really sad and that's not what you want to be doing uh, with six years of your life. And six years of youth is very precious. Uh, these are very important times. You should be spending time acquiring skills, uh, acquiring knowledge, uh, acquiring a lot of contacts. So be in a place where you get to operate. So you should have done a significant amount of research about the place you're going to be. You might have heard that you know uh, plastic surgery, six year DMV at Apollo first met Chennai, or neurosurgery at uh, some place down the arm, or you know, um, or uh, cardiothoracic surgery at. Uh, uh, Narayana Dali or Child Trust Pediatric Surgery 6 year program is excellent. But make sure that you talk to the people who are there, not just your immediate seniors or your friends from college who have there. Because one first year of your 6 year program is spent exclusively in general surgery and uh, it's the next 5 years. Uh, but one big advantage is that if you're really sure about the specialty you want to be doing, it doesn't make sense doing gallbladders or you know, you might have an absolute revulsion to doing parietal examinations. So that's perfectly okay, that's your personal choice. So it gives you an additional five years of time to spend in a specialty of your choice. And I personally believe that the longer the surgical training, the better the outcomes are, the better the outcomes are in the sense that you come out as a more well-rounded surgeon with more experience. It's almost like doing three years of your surgical training and doing two years of your associate in the same place. And let me tell you, the amount of training, the amount of exposure, the amount of friendships you make during your PG life, they can't imagine well. So it's very important to do it in a place where um, hands-on is good, uh, your exposure is good, uh, where uh, the reality matches your expectations 
if you are the kind of person who cannot stand long hours if you are the kind of person who cannot spend time reading uh, ecgs if you cannot not the kind of person who can uh, uh, spend your time in icu you should not be taking cardiac arrest surgery Cardiac surgery. A lot of people will discourage you. Oh, why cardiac surgery? But it is a great specialty for people who are passionate about it, and you should be willing to put in that hard work, which makes you a well-rounded cardiac surgeon. You should be willing to put in that hard work, which makes you a well-rounded plastic surgeon. What are the disadvantages of taking it in that place? Six years, you can never get out of it. So that's a big disadvantage in the middle. That means that you have to repeat your knee PG again, and a lot of people might not be willing to do that. Other thing is that certain specialties like general surgery, or pediatric surgery, or plastic surgery, it is my personal opinion, my personal bias. I feel that a general surgery training offers a lot. It gives you a lot of experience with regard to uh, uh, debridement, septic cases. There are, as a pediatric surgeon, you might encounter a septic case uh, once in a while, and and when that comes, you might not be well equipped to handle that surgically. Uh, as a general surgeon, you will see a lot of septic cases, a lot of necrotizing fasciitis, diabetic foot. So when that patient comes to you in a pediatric setting. Uh, you will be better equipped to handle it than a person who is doing a six-year program. It is my personal uh, bias, but uh, uh, it could it could it could kind of uh, be true is what I feel. Again, with regard to laparoscopic surgery and pediatric surgery, a lot of general surgery programs offer a good amount of laparoscopic exposure, which might serve you in good stead when it. Uh, Make when you're planning to enter into a six year program. So ultimately, it's your personal choice. Uh, uh, if you do have uh, your opinions or you don't have your doubts, uh, mention that in the comments with about your speciality. If you need to get in touch with me personally, you can do it over Vinay. dot Megan at Socials. dot com. But I would respond more to comments than emails uh, because I tend to you know read the comments more often. And uh, I'll put in my email ID at the description. But uh, uh, if I don't reply, just put it in the comments, and I'll be replying it. And uh, if you do have doubts regarding the exclusions, that is also something which I don't want to talk about in the video. But I think I can help you out on a personal basis. So uh, make a wise choice. Enter into a specialty uh, which you're passionate about. Uh, do it in a place which you're confident that you will, you know, mold you to a great surgeon. And I think you will have a fantastic future. Wishing you all the best. Uh, thank you so much.